morning, I'm Phoenix. And I'm Sam, and it's time for another installment of your East High Eagle Eye Report. On November 12th, sixth graders took their first field trip of the year to Nazareth College to see a musical version of the ELA novel, The Lightning Thief. Sixth graders enjoyed exploring the Nazareth campus as well. All American Boys is a book inspired by the national firestorm over police brutality. Meet authors Jason Reynolds and Brendan Kiley on Tuesday, November 8th at 3.45 in the East High Forum. Attention scholars and staff, East High School is putting on a poetry festival in the library this Wednesday and Thursday. We are looking for people interested in reading their original work during the festival. Please see Mr. Hart or Ms. Brasile if you would like to be involved. Scholars have been working towards this event and look forward to sharing their pieces with you. East High has its next family and community engagement event Thursday, November 10th from 6 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. The culinary students will be preparing and serving dinner. Don't miss it. Scholars' artwork will be on display and the dance team, step tier, step team, cheerleaders, and chorus will share the stage. Thursday at 6 p.m. Bring the whole family. Good morning. Two weeks ago, 18 East High students in the Precession Optics Program attended the Optical Society of America's 100th anniversary celebrating in downtown Rochester. The celebration included seven Nobel Prize winners in chemistry and physics sitting together on stage during a question and answer session. After the session, our area congresswoman, Louise Slaughter, invited East students onto the stage for a photo with these distinguished scientists. The highlight may have been when John Hall, East High sophomore, met John Hall, Nobel laureate in physics. Mr. Bethman and Ms. Phillips' family group went on a field trip to the Mahomes Haunted Hayride last Friday and they have an awesome picture they would like to share for our first family group spotlight of the year. Good morning. I have the results for the East High School Scholar election from last week. Here we go. Attention scholars, the results are in for East High School's presidential election. 171 votes were collected by your student government. Winning in a landslide among student voters was Hillary Clinton with 76% of the vote. Donald Trump received 16% of the vote. The Green Party's Dr. Jill Stein received 9% and former governor of New Mexico and libertarian candidate, Gary Johnson, received 7%. Tomorrow is election day for the United States. Be sure to tell your family members how East High voted and encourage them to get out and vote. Join Dance Club now. You can learn modern, Caribbean, folk, African, Latin, and ballroom dance. On Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays at 3.45, to 5 p.m. It's open to ninth graders, but all are welcome. See Ms. George in the main office to sign up today. Are you into the F to the L to the R to the RC? What does that stand for? It stands for the Finger Lakes Regional Robotics Competition. We're looking for students interested in being part of the television production team that will be filming and producing the two-day event from the RIT's Gordon Fieldhouse scheduled next March. Run a camera, run the audio board, conduct interviews, and most importantly, have a great time gaining real-world experiences in television production. The broadcast will be seen live in Rochester's cable channel, RCTV 15, and streamed on the internet to the entire world. Please contact Mr. Fitta in room D118 as soon as possible. Good morning. East Visionary will be meeting Tuesday, November 8th at 3.45 in E116. If you would like to help make East a better place, Visionary is the group for you. Visionary is open to anyone who cares about East. Please join us. This past Wednesday, the TLI seniors participated in a critical literacy project alongside Nazareth College. Students, they are also participating in a college vocabulary scavenger hub around the campus. Not only was this trip great fun, it helped out TLI students 
be, become more college ready. This weekend, the modern United Nations team spent two days at Helm High School where they debate current global events with students from across the region. The team represents the East African nation of Djibouti. We want to send a big shout out to Alejandra, Eddie, Cameron, and Wilson for how well they represent Djibouti and East High. DeAndre Jacquet, you have been selected for the Mission Achievement Award. I selected you, DeAndre, for consistently showing tenacity in your efforts to work towards career and college readiness by attending school regularly and keeping a smile on your face even after you've had your teeth pulled. You have continued to build relationships here at East and are learning to advocate for yourself. You also use your time in support room to check your grades and work towards completing all assignments. Keep it up, DeAndre. We are so proud of you. Thank you for setting an excellent example for all of East High to follow. <laughs> and there's a little certificate. And there's a medal for you, my friend. Congratulations. <laughs> Good morning, East High. This is Majestic Tremel with a few words of wisdom. How many of you know the meaning of the word tenacity? It means to hold firmly to something you believe in. Famous French scientist Louis Pasteur believed in himself and in his work. He believed tenaciously to prove that many diseases are caused by germs. Because of his tenacity, the milk we drink today is pasteurized so that it is free from germs. Now listen to these words written by this famous man. Let me tell you the secret that led to my goals. My strength lies solely in my tenacity. In other words, he set his mind on a goal, believed in himself, and didn't give up until he succeeded. If you have an important goal to reach, remember Louis Pasteur. Believe in yourself and hold tight to make your dreams. We have the power to change the world, Isai. Now, now let's get, get to work. work. <laughs>